What is going on, gang? Good morning and welcome back. So this is not the first spot of the day, but this is probably gonna be the first spot of the video. I'm hoping this is gonna be the first spot of the video. Um, it's about 11 o'clock, 11.30 in the morning. Um, and I have visited probably three or four spots already. And so far I have found absolutely nothing other than a couple of nails and that's literally it. I've probably thrown the magnet. Um, let's go ahead and put the GoPro on. We can, we can make progress going forth. So I've probably made, <laughs> I've probably thrown the magnet a hundred times already and I have found like I just said absolutely nothing so hopefully this spot right here turns out um, just a little bit better I hope so y'all I'm ready I'm ready for a lunch break I'm ready for a sandwich break I don't want to reward myself yet you know I want to I want to find a little something before I reward myself with a with a turkey sandwich and a and a bag of sour cream and onion chips Very first throw. All right, guys, I instantly feel way better about this spot. Oh, all right, so first throw, we got some weird, like, hey, what's up, truck? And then a handful of other scrap metals. We got a little, a little teeny tiny fishing lure. The hook is gone, unfortunately. And then, we got some more flakes or some some more nails i guess well, probably more accurately Ooh, our first like non-nail is is it is it something other than a nail or is it a nail with some like corroded rock to it <laughs> yeah that's a that's still a nail maybe it maybe it shouldn't count as a nail it's that's a, that's a juicy nail that's that's what that is that you know we i'm, I'm trying to spice this up Bro, we found like a wagon wheel. Yo, did we find another freaking wagon wheel? It's been a while, y'all. Oh, sit, please stay on, please stay on, please stay on. I don't know if this is a wagon wheel, but this is what I've, al I've always called these wagon wheels and no one has ever corrected me. So I'm gonna keep calling them freaking wagon wheels, bro. Uh, yes, dude. <laughs> Let's set this over here just a little bit out of the way. There we go, gang. Let's make sure we are on the camera. So, maybe it's not a wagon wheel. Maybe it's like the like the outline to like a some kind of table. I feel like outline isn't the right word, but it's obviously way too big to be like a like a rain barrel or like a 55 gallon drum. You know what I mean? Way too big. I'm guessing either a t part of a table or a wagon wheel. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, bro. <laughs> what is that? Oh, yes. Dude, is this part of like an old bicycle? It kind of looks like it could be part of like the handlebars, right? But then at the same time, doesn't it kind of look like a... Oh, dude. Is this a kickstand for a motorcycle? Or like a moped? Hey, look at this right here. You flip it up like that and then you flip it down. Bro, bro, bro. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Let's get it, dude. Oh, this feels good, y'all. Like when I say I have found nothing other than nails, I mean literally, quite literally, nothing other than freaking nails. So this, this is cool. I, I, I'm very happy. All right, what, whatever this is, this isn't really what I was messing with. Hold on, let's get everything off here first. Hmm, interesting. All right, yeah, I'm not really sure what this is, but it's obviously something. You see how it's like intentionally like almost coiled right there? So there is definitely something much larger. I'm gonna throw it right back into the same spot. <sighs> yeah, about right there. Whoa, whoa, rope, don't pull me in, bud. <laughs> We're on the same team. But yeah, so there's something right there. I tugged on it just a little bit. I may have been just a little too aggressive. I got it. You gotta remember to like, when stuff's stuck in the mud, you don't wanna rip it up sometimes. I guess unless you have a really good click. I mean, there's different techniques. I feel like I'm getting a little far ahead of myself, but sometimes giving some steady pressure to slowly pull it out the mud, like 
like squeezing out like a big old zit. You know what I'm talking about. And again, the same thing happened. Again, same, like I said, same thing. We were tugging on something much bigger. Yo. This is like a, this is like an old windshield wiper. Look how small that thing is right there, right? Isn't this an old windshield wiper? Either that or some kind of like squeegee thing. Dude, are we pulling apart an old moped? Would a moped even have like a, a, a squeegee thing on it? Yo, I don't know y'all. Ah. Yo, look at that. I want to say we found this before. I, I feel like this is a broken piece to like a big like chisel. I feel like, a, like I feel like I found this before, but like with a big, it was part of like a five foot long bar. I'm not quite sure. Anyways. found all this other thing maybe we didn't find scissors earlier maybe that was part of like a log dog or something it's in my it's in my bucket all the way over there uh <laughs> so dude what are we even messing with down here So uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the other side for just a minute. I'm curious. I'm just curious if there's as much over going on over there as, as there is over here. I don't know why it matters. I mean, like I said, there's still plenty to magnet. Oh, we found a horseshoe. We found a horseshoe, dude. I will take it, I will take it. I feel like I've earned some good luck to keep throwing over here for just another couple throws. I mean, really, it only depends if I can set this up somewhere reasonable. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Right there. <laughs> All right, gang. Very first throw, and we got a bunch of whatever the heck these skinny little things are. Not truly sure, but haven't felt too much out there other than this. <laughs> well, we got a handful of something here, y'all. I am not sure what the heck this thing is. Hold on, one, one find at a time. Oh my gosh. So we got uh, we got a bent spoon. And then it says Delco Hemi on it. D-E- Oh my gosh, I can't spell. D-E-L-C-O Hemi. What the heck is this thing? I almost forgot you guys are with me. What the heck do you think this, this is right here? I feel like I can do a better job keeping this on the camera with this camera. But you de like, it's definitely a car part. You see how you probably like bolt it down right there and then maybe something would come out right there. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, that is so freaking random, y'all. <sighs> It's been forever since I found uh, um, anything like this. Like, uh, uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. A windshield wiper, jeez. <laughs> and then I find two in the same day. One in like back-to-back -back spots. One was like five miles that way, not even five minutes that way. And then we got we got this one right here. Let's go, dude. I have a feeling someone has been throwing their car parts out here. So hopefully, uh, you never know. Maybe we can find the rest of the damn car. That'd be pretty freaking cool. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's a, it's a good weight. Don't get me wrong. It is a good weight, but it is not it is not what I was hoping for. We're rocking like a gosh, just part of a, a, a signpost that was cut in half and thrown in the water. Not much, but this is good weight for the bucket, y'all. I will happily take this. 
Unfortunately, I do not have a claw right now. I lost it last week. I don't think that video has aired yet, and I'm not sure which order I'm gonna air these. But. Dude, look how that's like hacked open. What the heck, bro? That is crazy. It's so like rigid. Like someone like hacked it open with something. Oh, that is a big one. That is a big one. Get up here, baby. Whoa. I got two things. <laughs> oh. All right. This. What a gross looking piece of wood, dude. This is like, it's like a giant snake poop. You can go back. <laughs> all right, gang. So. In that one throw, we got all this crap right here. Are we finding like a safe? Did someone cut a freaking safe open and throw it in the water? I mean, doesn't that look like this was like like hacked apart with like a uh, gosh, what are they called? Like a, like one of those blowtorch, or like a welding thing? Doesn't it kind of look like it was hacked the pieces? I I really have no idea. It just oh no, <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see right there, but my magnet is stuck to the freaking bridge. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, I thought that was going to be a bad one. But here we are, gang. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I have been everywhere today, y'all. This is probably, like, legitimately, like, my 10th spot of the day. Uh, it's for... I, I, I'm gonna sound like I'm complaining, you know, I, 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 I really do enjoy magnet fishing, you know, that's not an act. But one thing that does get kind of old is showing up to a new spot, getting all your stuff out, like, uh, setting everything up, you, you know, it... I, I feel like it doesn't sound as, like, tedious as it is, like, and again, I probably sound like I'm complaining, and to be honest, I am complaining just a little bit, you know, y'all are the only ones I got to talk to right now. <laughs> But no, for real, it does, it does get a little old, kind of driving five minutes, stopping, getting all your stuff out. The spot doesn't work out. Hop back in the car, go 10 minutes down the road, do it again. I feel like I probably spent like a total of, between all the spots today, I probably spent like a total of like an hour. Like legitimately, you know, like five minutes here, five minutes there, five minutes here, five minutes there. And then at the end, you know, clean yourself off because you don't want to, you know, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can truly tell, but magnet fishing <laughs> from time to time can be a truly dirty hobby. So obviously I try to track as little of this around with me as possible. So, you know, by the time I, oh my gosh, by the time I do all that, it's, you know, a good chunk of time has certainly passed. All right, gang. <laughs> Admittedly, this one is a bit of a tight fit. Oh. Ah. Oh, nice. It's actually deep. Good, 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 good. Ooh, very first throw. Oh, oh my, oh, yes, dude, oh no, oh my gosh, what a wide range of emotions, holy crap, dude. Oh, y'all, I, I pulled it up and like I saw like a kind of, I don't know what I saw, but I, I thought it was a gun, then I was just like, holy crap, it's not a gun. And then I saw the trigger and then I was just like, oh, it is a gun. And then I saw this sticking out and I was like, no, it's not a gun. Holy crap, what a wide range of emotions right there. Well, I guess not a wide range, just two back and forth pretty hard. But dude, that is freaking sick, bro. <laughs> we can get it to close. Ah. Good, good enough, y'all. <laughs> All right, it's not a BB gun, but this is from the exact same spot. Looks like we got part of a coat hanger. Uh-oh, tight fit. Tight fit, OMG. Oh, 
dude. I don't see a name or anything, but we just found an old freaking watch, bro. Look at that. That's freaking crazy. And then in the same throw, we found whatever the whatever the heck this thing is. Dude, kind of looks like some kind of car park. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> All right, so I have found a couple of these before and I think you guys told me this was some kind of anchor. And maybe a kayak anchor or something like that. I'm not really sure. Anyways, this this is the juice, y'all. This is what it's all about. This is what we hunting for, some old crusty tools. Oh, snap. Ooh, that wet rope up my leg. I found another one of these though. Oh, what a gnarly click, dude. That was like right at my feet. Bro, is that a freaking nail gun? No. Tell me from like a certain angle, this doesn't look like the like like a coil nail gun, like a roofing gun. You guys, you guys see what I'm talking about? If you've seen one before, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, what is this? It says a Fisher Governor. What is a governor? Oh, a broken lock, dude. Here we go, gang. We got a bunch of things on there, but this is the juice right here. <laughs> someone, you can't tell me someone didn't beat the crap out of this lock. Look at that. Someone literally, you can tell where someone hit it with a hammer. Look, look at that damage on there. Oh, man. I, I wonder what they stole. <laughs> oh, bro, look at this old drill bit. Dude, check this freaking out, man. That's actually freaking cool.